My name is Lottie Fittis and I am the Curator of History here at Peoria Riverfront Museum. And for today's Objectively Speaking, I am talking to you about two gorgettes that we have in our permanent collection. Uh, these gorgettes are typically on display in our Illinois River Encounter Gallery, which you may know is actually under renovation right now. We do plan to put these back on display, uh, but while they're not on display, I just wanted to give you a little bit more information about these. So these are marine shell gorgettes that were found in Fulton County at an archaeological site and they're from the Mississippian culture, which dates back about four to 700 years ago. And you can see here that there are two holes along the top. Uh, these gorgettes would have likely been worn around the neck. The gorgette is a word from the French language meaning neck. The indigenous uh, populations of the Mississippian culture likely probably had another word for it, um, but that is now what we call these. And you can also see um, um, that carved or embossed in the shell is a spider and we can see um, eight legs there is the center uh, the bottom half of the spider and then the head has been a little bit worn away now this one uh, looks a little bit different you can see in the center there is a cross shape and um, it is a little bit more ornately carved, so there appears to be some eyes on the head and a little bit more um, artistic rendering here in the bottom half. The spider was actually fairly significant in the Mississippian culture. Um, it often related uh, more closely to women and had to do um, sometimes with fertility, uh, but the marine shell wouldn't have actually been found in Fulton County, so this is um, something that archaeologists and historians can look at and talk about um, when we talk about the trading among different native populations. Some of you might be wondering why I am wearing gloves. Um, here at the Riverfront Museum, we always strive to uh, wear gloves when handling artifacts. It isn't always necessary depending on the object, um, but as a general practice and rule, we do often try to wear them just to help protect the object. Um, now, sometimes we are required to wear gloves to protect ourselves if we are handling a hazardous um, mineral or perhaps an artwork that maybe has been exposed to mold, um, but generally we wear it just to help protect and preserve our artifacts. So these were actually donated to the museum in the 1980s and they were donated by um, William Rutherford. So we can't wait to have these back on display um, and tell you a little bit more about the Mississippian culture and the history of the native populations in Illinois. Thank you so much for watching Objectively Speaking today. The Peoria Riverfront Museum Virtual Museum is brought to you by the Visionary Society and the museum's members. Thank you so much.